now today we have got our August Fairy Loot. Yay! If you don't know what the Fairy Loot is, it's a bookish description box you can get every month with a white eight released book and some bookish goodies. So also with Fairy Loot as well, they have actually announced they're going to do an adult YA sorry, an adult fantasy book subscription box. Just a book only and I have actually added that to my wish list. So I'm probably going to do some of those boxes as well. Which I am really looking forward to because I have no idea what's gonna be on it. <laughs> so let's go into this box. This is a UK based subscription box as well. And I do love their boxes. So let's see what's inside. Ow. You see it? Okay, so here is our little card, and the, the theme was Lush Drug. So, which, oh crap, I have nowhere to put them. That will do. That will do. Okay, so we said we had such positive feedback on our last literary trade that we we. We, that we knew we must include another one. The new tray has a beautiful design by Stella Book Art, Bookish Art, and a quote from the Cemetery Voice by Aidan Thomas. So I do love these because these are so cute. You can put your trinkets on it, you can put just um, your rings, your necklaces, anything on there, or you can use this for the kitchen as well. And it says, It wasn't the end, it wasn't a better beginning by Aidan Thomas. Now I have read, I haven't read the Cemetery Book. Cemetery Boys, but I have read The Lost in the Neverwoods by Aidan Thomas, and that was a really good book. So there's that. New pen alert, some amazing love stories on Margaret in the story of Carvel by Stephanie Garber. So we had to include an item base of the fandom. I hope we hope when you love this pin design for the lovely Fafia Moon designs. Sorry if I put your names, but uh, I'll leave the com um, all the Instagram down below. So this is what the pin came in. I've never read Carvel, so I wouldn't know what this would be. <coughs> it's a fairly exclusive as well, and it's really cute. I actually like that. Oh my god, yes. You you can pin your new pin on this beautiful pin banner. This stunning design is created by Blanca Dot Designs and a gold foil to see how really makes it come alive. The banner is inspired by these violet designs by Chloe Gong. Yes, please. I do love a good pin banner and this is actually stunning. It's like a green tone but in the camera it looks black. But it's more of a green tone with the black kind of outlines. Stuff like that, but that's really cute. I do love that and we're always happy more to have more pin banners. We also included a pencil case for your stationery. It features a beautiful quote from the River of Royal Blood by Amanda Joy. Make sure to pack your pens, pencils, tabs, so you can really market every romantic scene in your book. And I totally forgot we had two books in this month's box. <clears throat> so here we go. Here's our little pencil case. The world is wild with the untamed things. I've never think I've read anything from Amanda Joy, so I have not read that book. So I think that's one of the books that Ferru actually previously put in one of their boxes, but I never got that box. This is a good decent size as well. You can put stuff in there definitely. I will probably put my Is that big enough? Yeah, I can probably put my Ferru postcards in this book. That is pretty awesome. So <clears throat> this is the first book, which is the paperback version. This month's box, box comes with not one but two gorgeous books. Your copy of After Love by Tanya Byrne has a, a beautiful exclusive cover, sprayed edges, and a digital signature. After Love is a beautiful Suffolk love story but about a connection story enough to challenge itself to death. So look how cute this is. This is adorable. I love this cover. Um, not even dare for to hear them apart. Yeah, so this book is really cute. I love these pink sprayed edges and these are amazing. So here's the little blurb on it. It says, car headlights, the last thing Ash hears is the snap of breaking glass. So yes, uh, the last thing Ash hears is the snap of breaking glass the wind, as the wings screen hits her and shatters into a million pieces like stars. But she's made and she's here, here, or is she? This New Year's Eve, Ash gets an invitation from Afterlife she can't decline to join a clan of fierce girls reapers who takes the souls of city's dead to wait their fate. But Ash can't forget her first love, Poppy. But and she will do anything to see her again if it means that they only get a few more days together, dead or alive. So that's really cute. And if you give me one second, we get to the next bit. This month's collectible Katara cards are the Ace and Two Pentacles. They are designed by Morgan and a groom. 
and are inspired by Kava by Stephanie Garber. So those are the designs, these are really beautiful and I think these are new different kind of tarot cards, I'm not sure if they're the same ones. And let's get the book for one second. Okay, so the feature book of the month is these for um, Hollow Vows by Lexi Ryan. It is a sexy, action-packed fantasy about a girl who's caught between two treacherous fairy courts. This fairy loot edition has a, a cut of exclusive cover, stencil sprayed, it is artwork on the reverse dust jacket, and it's signed by the author. So, this is what it looks like. Look at this cover, it's freaking amazing. Sprayed edges. Yes, love it. Like it said, it is signed by the author. Let's check. Oh, we have a lovely gift. Yes, and then oh, wait, 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 wait. Artwork on the Rust Dust Jacket. Beautiful. I literally cannot wait to read this book. It's so up my alley right now. So Breeze would do anything, making a deal with the Fae. Death is preferred to these their vicious schemes, but when sister is taken by Sadder's king of the unseelie court, there's nothing Bree wouldn't get to do get her back, including making a deal with the king himself to steal three magical relics from this rival seelie court. That's literally all I'm going to get into because I do not want to be spoiled by anything else. Literally. <laughs> so with the book as well, you do get a author letter with the little artwork by the character, and we get a little bookmark of our theme card and our month that came in. And of course we get our fairy scoop as well. So inside it gives you like a little author letter, or I'm sorry, um, no, notes from the author. And in the back it tells us about the next month's theme, which is Uprising for September. Whether you're hero risking everything to destroy an EU force, a warrior part taking a battle for epic proportions, or a guardian rising up against someone that is trying to harm their loved ones, fight a battle for what you believe in to save the ones you love is the one of the truths that we enjoy the most in a fantasy book. In this box you can accept, accept items from Six Queens and Cranes, yes, Daughter Smoke Bone, a Smoke and Bone, yes, The Ember and the Ashes, yes, and The Prison Healer, I have not read that yet. We are thrilled to reveal that this box will once again have two books. The second book is a paperback with an exclusive cover and a digital signature. We won't be revealing the title of this book, but we'll give you this little. It's a new September, September release where two teenagers strike a deadly alliance to hunt down that ancient creature menacing their home. And then the feature book of the month that follows a girl who risks everything to bring down the system in the kingdom divided by corruption. And they've literally got, again, they're going to outdo themselves with the book like every single time. This box was amazing. Um, they said this was, yeah, it was signed as well. I forgot to show you that. Oops. So two books in the box. I love when they do that. Um, we do have a few boxes that still was waiting for August. But that's perfectly fine. And one for July as well. But we get more of that when that box comes. I hope you guys enjoyed these. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Bye. And sorry for the interruptions. And the, in, uh, like, me being very, very quickly. But peace. Bye.